Hello and good morning. Oh, it's not morning. It's 7.30 in the evening. But anyway, um, I just thought I'd stop by your house here for a minute and interrupt your day to show you something here. Just to show, to, to show you something. And what, look at this. I just made this flower. And see, isn't it pretty? And it's like shabby chic looking. And and I'm not really one for shabby chic. I mean, I love shabby chic, but I just have never been good at it. So, but I made that there flare, and I'll sh I'm, I want to show you how I made it. Now, I'm not the inventor of it, so don't get all excited or anything. Um, I'm not the inventor of anything, but I'm going to show you how I made it. I'm um, I cut me a circle out of paper. Or you can punch it if you got like a paper punch, but it doesn't really matter if you punch it or cut it or just, and it's not even a real circle, it's a pretend circle. And so, see there's that glare from that light up there. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I got this here lace. This is two inch lace. Now, I'm going to cut it in squares and I need four. I need four kind of squares. One, two, three. Oh, I got one right here. Four. Okay. There. Now, I'm going to take these four squares now of lace. Well, I do not like that glare. Oh, that glare just makes me crazy as a run over dog. I'm telling you, just a second. Let me get me a piece of paper. I'm going to put this piece of paper right here. There. That kind of <laughs> shows that old glare what to do. Put that in your pipe and smoke it, glare. Okay, so then I'm going to take this, this square. Now, you don't have to use lace. You can use, which I want to use, some muslin and make some just out of muslin. But you can do it with fabrics or anything. But you take it and you fold it. Fold it in half and then you fold it in half again. And so, so you fold it in half on the diagonal. And then you just put your, just a spot of hot glue there and then fold it again so you've got it fold and you see now it's a quarter of a square. See there? And you want to fold each one of those. Oopsie daisies, I almost did that wrong. And so I'm going to fold that. See, so I fold it first on that one, that one direction, and then I fold it. What I'm doing here, folding it too, is um, I'm not folding it like exactly right exactly, because I want this, um, because of this here lace, it's got like a scalloped edge, and I want that scalloped edge to kind of show a bit. Okay, then I'm going to take, so what I mean is, see, I'll um, see these two where I cut, those are not scalloped edge. so I'm going to fold it over so that scallop edge kind of sticks out further than the cut edge. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm telling you. Now, if you're making it out of like fabric, muslin, or something, it would be either cut or either tear it so you've got the fringy edge or cut it with like pinking shears so you have a pinked edge. See, now i got three of them. And now I'll do this way. I um, should have brought some of that other kind of stuff in here with me to um, to show you the others too. But but I, I would stay here half the night, and um, I don't want to do that. So because um, it's already 7:30. Yeah, this is pretty lace because it's got gold in it. Okay, so see now. Now I have those four pieces together, and I'm going to take this circle that I cut, and I'm going to um, put these four pieces on the circle. Get that pointy part right in the middle. Well, pretty much in the middle. Don't have to be perfectly in the middle. And get this one in there and match that middle up, and then put the third one on there like this and see you're just matching the middles up and then you got space for the fourth one and you just stick that little booger right in there see there it looks like a square but we're going to trim it okay now the second layer i'm going to use this one inch lace that i have and it's all in scallops so i'm just going to use one scallop for each square one two three 
four. Now this 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 here lace that I used first is white with some gold in it. See, that's what I used first. That's pretty. And then this one here that I'm using is like a ivory color, ecru. And so it's two different colors. And so um and see and that's what you can do even with your fabrics you might do something like maybe the first layer might be just done with um with um uh, like a muslin like just a muslin and then the second color might be something else that is kind of a primitive color or whatever and um and so then you have that little contrast which is very pretty so now i'm going to fold these ones the same way folding them in half on the diagonal, put a little spot of glue in there. I, ooh, I have some of them finger protectors because Stacy sent me some. I don't know where I put them. Don't know where I put them. I do know where I put them, but I forgot where that place was. And so, um, but I do remember seeing them just recently. But I hadn't been using hot glue much. So, but so I have to find them. Oh, I think I know where they are. Uh, too lazy to get up and go look for them now though um my fingers are okay they're all tough i've milked cows with these fingers they're tough okay so see now i'm gonna get that one see i fold it in half in diagonal and then fold it in half again on the dag diagonal so then you end up with that point there see so i'm getting four of those see i'm getting four of those and the strings of the glue are like spider webs but um, it's Halloween. It's almost Halloween, so you can call this a Halloween thing. Okay, so I fold that on the diagonal in half, put just a little bit of glue on there to hold it tight, sort of tight, and then you see I've got those four pieces, sort of four, that want to stick to my fingers with these strings. Okay. Hmm. Now I've got this piece here that I've already glued it together, and now I've got these other four. Now I'm going to glue these on for the second layer, but do you see how on, you see there's like a cross here? Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to put these on the out, different. We're going to put them different. We're going to put them so they're over that, that, that first layer, see? how that is that's going to go like that and it's covering up that like where they cross over that's how they're going to go on there do you see that this is where they're, they cross over in the middle and then you put this one on this way see right there i used to make these a long like a long time ago different ways like this but um let me see, I kind of squished a lot of glue in there. Maybe I can get two glued on that little spot of glue. Okay, that's okay. Now I need to put me some little bit more. Yeah, there, and I can get them other two glued on there. If they just will quit sticking together with all them strings, okay? I could probably use, you know, if you don't use hot glue, if you have, um, if you have, oh, what do you call that stuff? Fabrifix or Fabri-Tac? fabri, -tac? fabri -tac or Fabri something? That would work too. Okay, see now, then I have, I want to push that down in the middle. I want that to be squished. And so, I got this squisher. Actually, it's a Batman whistle. Yeah, it's a Batman whistle. But it's got this little round end in here and I can push stuff with it. So what the heck, kids don't need that. Okay, and now I have some, this is, um, um hmm, gauze like gauze or roll of gauze but i've got it all tea stained so i'm going to take me just a piece of that i bought me some oh it's still out in the kitchen i at the, i actually went shopping i went to the dollar general and they had halloween stuff and they had something i guess you use it for it's it's fabric and it's like a very loose weave kind of um almost like this kind of gauze stuff i guess you use it for spider webs or something well it was just a dollar and so i said well i'm buying me some of that because i'll find something to do with that it's only a dollar 
but okay so now I just put right in the middle now I put some of that um uh, just a little chunk of this here um tea dyed gauze I got enough in there to last me like a hundred years so now see that's pretty okay then what I do is I have buttons I have buttons I'm gonna take a button and let's see I'm gonna take these buttons, oh my goodness. Um, Vanessa, Vanessa had a yard sale on her, like a, um, she, well, I guess it's not a yard sale, but she had a sale on her, on her, um, an auction, and I, and she had them buttons, and boy, that just got me excited to see all them buttons. I said, I'll take them all. That's what I did. I bought them all. I've used a lot, too. Now I'm just sticking a button right in the center. Now, this button, I'm just going to leave it like that because I like that blue button. That's pretty. It's gold around, gold around it, which is neat because then there's gold in the lace and then it's blue in the center. Now this one here, I just put a gold button, but then I put a bead because I have these here, beads right here, and I put a bead on there too. And so, but then what I do now, see, because now it's square, you might want a square button, I mean a square flower, but I'm gonna trim mine to round. So I'm just gonna trim the corners, just trim the corners here and make it round. To get your your button in a little bit of uh, your button your flower in a little bit different shape see now and then I just cut a little bit of that that fluff and then you take it and just fluff it up a little bit just fluff it just fluff and look at that flower let me see if if that'll magically focus oh there it is see how pretty these flowers are and that is just with with now that's with using two inch lace and one inch lace but now if you don't have that kind of stuff you can just use fabric and now by using the two inch lace at the bottom of the first layer your this is going to be about two inches in diameter see when I put it down here on this on this grid you see how it's like two inches you can see how that measures so how whatever size you want your flower to be now if you want a smaller flower and you use just the one inch lace now if I didn't have this um, outside and I just made the one inch and put the four pieces on and then some of the the um, the um, cheesecloth cheesecloth and a button or whatever in the middle then you'd have a one inch flower so whatever the width of the fabric is that you use that is how wide the flower is going to be that is going to be the dimension of your flower after you get that made and so those <coughs> I'm just going to show you one and so if you need to you can um rewatch and see how I did that and um and and look at those pretty flowers I have I got those very pretty flowers and so and it's just and like I say anything you have I mean I've got lace on here but you might have um scraps of different kind of laces it doesn't have to be edge edge trimmings like this it can be cut from a tablecloth if you got a tablecloth on your table just go around to the back cut a piece off nobody's ever going to notice that you're missing a piece in your tablecloth and um but there you go that's that flare and you can make them any 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 colors just a little bit of hot glue and um and a whistle to put well no you don't need the batman whistle but um yeah that's all you need that's all you need that is all you need well i got a lot of things to do i've got a um well i have jeffrey here but he's going home in the morning and so then tomorrow i gotta pack up I'm telling you how blessed I am. I, I'm telling you. I, 
went to Amazon and I ordered me three scrub tops. I bought them big because I want to wear them over like shirts in the winter. But I like them because some scrub tops have got them big pockets in them. So I bought some real wild colors. I found the wildest colors. One of them's got like suns and moons all over it. But and after I made the um, order, I said, hmm, I don't know if I should have done that. And then I went to my email and I had an order for a cigar box and an order of lace. That came to the same amount I just spent on my scrub tops. I earned it right after which so I'm gonna get those packaged up and get them mailed off on Monday so I've got to do them I've got to get um, Lori Neltler's prize I don't think she even knows yet that she won the prize I'm gonna get that sent off oh and then I got another order for a tag kit that is some son bought it for his mom he said I want to order that for my mother and I thought boy is that a nice kid you know what I just I just realized that where did I put my grabber? Do I have my grabber in here? No, I'm gonna have to reach. Um, I just have to reach just a minute. Let me, if I can get stood up here, these feet. I'm telling you, I need a new set of feet. Okay, now I'm reaching. Excuse my boarding house reach. There. I just realized I have this little jar of flowers, and they're really little. So if you have like little flowers. If you took a little flower and put it in the middle of this, that would be pretty too. I think I'm going to make one of them right now. Well, I won't keep you guys. Well, maybe I will keep you guys. I am going to keep you guys. What the heck? You guys, I'm sure you don't have anything better to do. So I'm going to cut. No, I'm going to make a little one. I'm just going to make a little one. One little one. See how this works. So this is going to be a one-inch flower. So I got my four pieces there, and then I'm going to cut my my little circle. So I have to get my little circle. Now this is going to have to be a smaller circle. But see, when you put that circle on the back like that, you have something to glue to to glue it down on your project. Okay, so now I have my circle here, and um, I'm going to put my circle down. You can't see that because of that. And then, so there we go. Now I've blocked off all that glare. And um, okay, so I'm going to do that same thing, but I'm going to use one of them little flowers. So I'm going to fold this one in quarters. Just quarters. I'm only using one inch like um, lace this time. So your fabric or whatever you're going to use, just one inch, one inch by one inch. Okay. There's one of them that's not sticking. You squish it. I gotta squish it. My nails are still doing good. These are those color streets that my granddaughter is selling, and and they're um. They're still doing good, and I've had them on the second, I think I put them on, and today is the something else. Tenth? Is it the tenth? And you're still looking good. So far, I'm happy with them. Because I like to have my nails done, but I don't like to pay an arm and a leg. And I don't like fake nails. These aren't fake nails. It's just nail polish, fake nail polish. Well, actually, the package says it's real nail polish, so I don't know how they get them to peel and stick like that, but I don't know. Some rocket scientist must have figured that one out on his own, or her own, probably her own. There is female rocket scientists, you know. They're probably smarter than the male rocket scientists. I'm just saying that because I'm just that kind of person. I was just watching Jeff Foxworthy. It was a, a fe it, it was not actually him telling jokes. It was actually just a um, interview with him to tell him to talk about his childhood and how he got started and stuff. It was quite interesting. I didn't watch the whole thing. I might watch the rest of it later. I never watch the whole thing and nothing. I'll watch a half a movie and then turn it off. Okay, now I have very short attention span. Very short. 
Although I have enough attention to play play with crafting all day, but the crafting I do just switches. It switches constantly. Like I can start out in the morning painting and then go to do some sewing and then go to do some drawing and then go to do some dyeing and you just never know. I just cut. I got like a hundred things going on at one time. So see there now I've got that right there with just using those four little pieces of the one inch. Now I'm going to take another little piece of this dyed um, cheesecloth stuff. And I'm just going to kind of wad it, sort of, just wad it, wad it into a piece like that. And then I'll put the glue right there in the center and get Batman here to um, push that down right in the middle. Because Batman whistles don't have no feeling. They don't have no feeling. So there, now that's right there in that middle. And then I'm going to find a flower here. And let's see, should I put this pink one in there? Oh, that's two. I don't need two. I only need one. I'll, I'll put the pink one in there because that's what I picked first. So I'll put that pink one in there. And let Batman push that down. And push it down hard because, see push it get something to push it on down in there hard because then it makes the whole thing cup up a little bit you know cup up so now I could put just one of those beads in the middle there or I could put a button now let's see I think I will just put a button let me see unless the button let me see I need a small button okay this is a small button let me see yeah okay I might put the button and the bead you just never know what I'm going to do. So there we go. And I'm going to put the button. Put the button in the middle. But then I think I'll take a bead too. You just can You can just do all kinds of stuff with this. Oh, you know what else? You know what else? If you have, you know where I put the gauze there? Or the, the whatever you call that stuff, cheesecloth? If you save, like when I tear fabric... When I tear fabric, I end up with so much um, threads from the edges. And then you get this wad of threads. And um, I've been saving, I know it, I'm saving again, hoarding, hoarding, hoarding. I've been saving them. And if you have just a little wad of them flares like that, of that threads, then you put that in the center which is, you know, a mixture of colors and whatnot. And um, that would be pretty, too. Just wad it up in a wad, put your little bit of hot glue down there, and stick them down on there. And that would be pretty. And then, look. See, now I have a one-inch flower. Now, that might, I might have overdid the middle by having that bead. The bead's kind of big, maybe, for that. I don't think so, though. It's, this is just the style of flower it is. So, see, there, then I have a one inch. I have the two one inch flowers. I mean, two inch flowers. And then the one inch flower. This has got two layers of lace. This has only one layer of lace. And then the, the cheesecloth. And then that little flower. And that's pretty. These will be real pretty glued on. See, they've got a lot of dimension. They've got dimension, but still they're not real thick. So that you can put them on, like if you're putting up a, a collection on a front of a journal or something, that would look real, 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 real pretty. And so that's, that's just all I wanted to show you today. I just had to show you something because I just feel like if I don't show you something in one day that you just never know. Aliens might come get me tonight and that would be the end of me. And then I wouldn't be able to tell you nothing ever again in my whole life because I'd be on planet Mars. But anyway, I'm going to put these over here. Put those over there. I think I might put them in the, um, I might even put those in that little, um, cigar box I'm sending off on Monday. I think I will. I'll put those in a little bag. And then, do I still have a little bag down in here? Oh, just, I only guess I only have these real little bags. Real little bags, yeah. But see, I could package them up and 
I don't think this big ones will fit in there. No, just the little bitty one will fit in there. I could send her at least one little bitty one. She'd like that. But anyway, <coughs> I'm going to um, find something here to read. Oh, I embrace my inner child with love. Okay, my inner child. I think a lot about my inner child. Um, I have an inner child, and I love her very much. And the other day when I went to the doctor, well, last week, you know, they weighed me up at, at the doctor, and, and they said that I, you know, the lady started writing it down, 270. I go, I don't weigh that much. She goes, i got to write down what the scale says. I said, but that, you're, you're adding the fluff. I said, my inner child weighs 110 pounds. Or maybe I said 120. And I said, the rest of it is just fluff to protect my inner child. And um, so all you have to write down is 120 or 110. And um, she thought that's pretty funny. <laughs> but it is, it's just fluff to protect my inner child. But that's so funny, I opened that to this. Okay, each one of us is always working with the three-year-old child within us. Most of us, unfortunately, spend our time yelling at that child and then wondering why our lives do not work. I embrace my inner child with love. Take care of your inner child. It is the child who is frightened. It is the child who is hurting. It is the child who does not know what to do. Be there for your child, embrace it and love it and do whatever you can to take care of its needs. Be sure to let your child know that no matter what happens, you will always be there for it. You will never turn away or desert it. You will always love this child. And you know, I think so much about my inner child and um, because I didn't quit being a child just because I grew older and bigger and different looking than my skin started getting old and stuff that child's still there all of those feelings are still there so much is still there and so yes you embrace your inner child with love because you're not just who you are today you're not just who you were 10 years ago you're not that person that might have made a bad choice back in the 60s you're not that you are still that three-year-old and that four-year-old and that five that first decade that first decade as my inner child and I think about her a lot and I do protect her I do protect her now and Sometimes I just get to thinking about her and I, you know, and I, and I miss her. I miss her, but she's still within me. She's still within me to so eat a donut and protect your inner child. Okay. I want to ask God to watch over you every step you take, every move you make. And I will see you on the next video and get you something and make you some flowers. Make you some pretty flowers. Look how pretty they are. If I were to put them on that page, how pretty they would look. God bless you all. I will see you on the next video.